Good evening, everybody. I uh, hope you've had a good day, a great day, and uh, maybe joined in with us in the praying on this uh, day of prayer. As with the uh, previous services today, there is a pre-recorded service, and we will be using the uh, evening prayer in this, this booklet. I hope you can see it um, on the screen now. Um, but also it can be downloaded from Thy Kingdom Come website if you would prefer uh, to do that, or if you would just like to listen um, and, uh, uh, and uh, join in with that way, that, that's wonderful. If you have the booklet um, with you or you're following it on the screen, it's on page 14 in the, the booklet. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and clothe us with power from on high. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You are clothed with majesty and honour, wrapped in light as in a garment. The sun knows the timing for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you, you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will make music to my God while I have my being. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. And I'll read Psalm 48. Um, please join in with the refrain if you'd like to, and in the, with the second half of each of the verses as we go through. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised, in the city of our God. His holy mountain is fair and lifted high the joy of all the earth. On Mount Zion, the divine dwelling place, stands the city of the great king. In her palaces, God has shown himself to be a sure refuge. For behold, the kings of the earth assembled and swept forward together. They saw and were dumbfounded. Dismayed, they fled in terror. Trembling seized them there. They withered like a woman in labour, as when the east wind shatters the ships of Tarshish. 
As we had heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, the city of our God. God has established her forever. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. As with your name, O God, so your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of justice. Let Mount Zion rejoice and the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgments, O Lord. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Count all her towers. Consider well her bulwarks pass through her citadels, that you may tell those who come after that such is our God for ever and ever. It is he that shall be our guide for evermore. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God. Father of lights, Raise us with Christ to your eternal city, that with kings and nations we may wait in the midst of your temple and see your glory for ever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. And the canticle. The spirit of the Father who raised Christ Jesus from the dead gives life to the people of God. Alleluia. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. For we have received the Spirit that enables us to cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness that we are children of God. And if God's children, then heirs of God. If heirs of God, then fellow heirs with Christ, since we suffer with him now, that we may be glorified with him. These sufferings that we now endure are not worth comparing to the glory that shall be revealed. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Spirit of the Father, who raised Christ Jesus from the dead, gives life to the people of God. Alleluia. And the first of our scripture readings is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 3. The Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And all of us, with unveiled faces, seeing the glory of the Lord as though reflected in a mirror, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord, the Spirit. And the response. When you send forth your spirit, we are created. You renew the face of the earth. When you send forth your spirit, we are created. 
you renew the face of the earth. O Lord, how manifold are your In wisdom you have made them all. You renew the face of the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. When you send forth your spirit, we are created. You renew the face of the earth. And our second reading, which is not actually printed in the booklet, is taken from John's Gospel. It starts at uh, verse 26 of chapter 15, but goes through to chapter 16, uh, verse 15. When the Advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who comes from the Father, he will testify on my behalf. You also are to testify because you have been with me from the beginning. I have said these things to you to keep you from stumbling. They will put out, put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, an hour is coming when those who kill you will think that by doing so, they are offering worship to God. And they will do this because they have not known the Father or me. But I have said these things to you, so that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you about them. I did not say these things to you from the beginning, because I was with you, but now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you asks me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will prove the world wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment. About sin, because they do not believe in me. About righteousness, because I am going to the Father and you will see me no longer. About judgment, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I said that, I, that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. And we now read the Magnificat, the Song of Mary. How excellent is your name in all the world. You have set your glory above the heavens. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit. 
casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. How excellent is your name in all the world. You have set your glory above the heavens. Alleluia. And we come to our time of intercessory prayer now. We will pray for uh, each of the topics or listed in the booklet. At the end of each prayer, I will finish with Lord in your mercy. Response is hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we lift to you those who are seeking to bring peace to a broken world and trust to divided communities. We ask that your spirit of reconciliation may work in and through all people of goodwill, through those who know him as Lord and those who do not. And Lord, as we live and work among those who are struggling at this time, without hope or purpose in their lives. We come to you to celebrate the wonder of your glory, your power and your love. We rejoice that you offer us a peace that in our own strength we cannot win, deserve or achieve. May the worship we offer declare the peace that passes all understanding. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we lift to you those whose lives are filled with fear and for those whose lives are damaged by neglect or abuse. For those overwhelmed by their sense of inadequacy and insincerity and insecurity. And for those who have lost their purpose in life and their reason for living. For those facing times of temptation and needing the strength of Jesus Christ. May the grace of Christ be sufficient for all their needs. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we lift to you all who have opened their hearts to Jesus and rejoice in the new life and peace he has brought. We think of those who have experienced his work as their saviour, but are learning what it means to call him Lord. We think of those who have heard of the Spirit and his life-transforming power and empowerment, but struggle to feel worthy to receive that empowerment. We ask that your Holy Spirit will break through all those barriers that we erect against him. May the freedom of your spirit give confidence and courage. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we wait on you and we seek renewal. We think of all we must face in the coming days 
and months and years of our lives. The times of aloneness, doubt and fear. For our longing to be free. Really free as you long for us to be. We ask for a renewal of our hearts and minds and lives. And for a chance to learn to love ourselves. May the coming of your spirit bring the wind that renews. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask for a renewed confidence in the values of your kingdom as we acknowledge Jesus ascending to be with you. We ask for reassurance that honesty, integrity, obedience, faithfulness, compassion and love are the values that are real and true. We ask that your truth and love will be lived and proclaimed. We ask that you would help us, weak as we are, to go to those overwhelmed by grief, broken by violence, crushed by injustice, damaged by abuse, and weakened by illness. That acknowledging your kingdom values, we may use the power of your Holy Spirit to heal and transform lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we looked at the beauty of your creation all around us. We thank you for the variety and the abundance of plants, animals and creatures. Help us to make good use of your creation in the provision of food for all. Help us to share the fruitful harvests in a way that satisfies the needs of all your people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Heavenly Father, we bring to you all who are finding life very difficult at this particular time, when families are at home together much longer than they have previous been, and the expectations of day-to-day -day living has been changed so much that tensions are causing relationships to break down. We lift to you relationships that we are aware of that are fraying at the edges and ask for your Holy Spirit to intervene and bring calmness and the peace into their lives and homes. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. bringing our prayers together in the collect for thy kingdom come. Almighty God, your ascended Son has sent us into the world to preach the good news of your kingdom. Inspire us with your spirit and fill our hearts with the fire of your love that all who hear your word may be drawn to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Continuing in prayer. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us, and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ has gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me this evening for this evening prayer. I hope you've had a good evening and I look forward to being with you live at 9pm for night prayer at the end of our day of prayer.